Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. This raw video is from a photo walk on October 19, 2016 in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, and that's in the United States. This walk was along a rural road. Let's take a look at what we have here today. Some beautiful footage of a small little bees and some beautiful late season flowers here in North Carolina. I'm not sure what these bees are called. I'm not sure what uh, kind of flowers these are. I'm just not good with the names. I can spend some considerable time figuring out the names. <laughs> An hour later, I don't remember what they are. But we try to identify everything here on Nature's Wild Things so everybody can uh, see what the critters are called and see what the flowers are called. And uh, looking for your help as always. So. If you're uh, watching this video and you have some ideas as to what these beautiful bees are and what these beautiful small little flowers are, well, let us know in the comments and uh, we'll add that information to the metadata on the video. Appreciate that. Well, looking through the video here, uh, just along a little roadside uh, clump of flowers you might say this is these are the kind of flowers that when you drive by you you perceive that there's white in those flowers these are very small flowers and these flowers from a distance it just you'd say to yourself I don't want to stop and even look at those they're they're not big they're not pretty and yet with the lens of my camera I can get down into a different world and see these beautiful beautiful small little flowers and the little creatures pollinating them <laughs> I just think uh, this is this is the reason why I do what I do here to find the beauty that's buried in these raw videos alright now as you can see, <clears throat> minute and a half video, and there's not a lot here. Well, there's a huge amount <laughs> of video here, but uh, can we turn some of this video into a 30 second observation? And what is an observation? What, what is my definition of an observation? Well, it's slowing things down and taking the time to really see something. We we have life pass us by so quickly that oftentimes we don't slow down and look at what is happening in front of us. We're not visualizing it, seeing it, and we're not really absorbing what's happening. And that's why I love doing these videos. I love the opportunity to take and slow down life and really observe the creature that I'm watching and the, in this case the beautiful little little flowers look at the little star in the middle of that flower <laughs> just beautiful Oop. 
end we end that little piece with a photobomber <laughs> another tiny little bee just snuck his way in there a uh, beautiful little clip I think I found my 32nd video for today so let's start it right about there we're gonna do an in and uh, where are we gonna call an out so we have the B kind of flies up and out of the frame but here comes the photobomber I think we want to leave the photobomber in and now we'll do an out here so we have this small little piece of uh, video here let's grab it and move it to the timeline and uh, We've got all of uh, about five seconds worth of video here. Well, let's work on that though. Let's select that and let's uh, increase its duration to about 30 seconds. Why do I do 30 second videos? Well, with a video I want to show off the creatures, the flowers and with a video you get a chance to tell a story or create a situation where you can observe an action that you couldn't you couldn't really do in a photograph and yet we don't want to bore the subject watching the nature and as Facebook will tell you, <laughs> shorter is better when it comes to video. And you don't even need audio sometimes. With the way Facebook auto plays everything, audio isn't as important sometimes in a short little observation. And I've been <clears throat> creating these observations for quite a while now. And these observations can also be processed in the future into a longer form of uh, nature study on individual creatures or the plant life in them or the flowers or just whatever we want to do here in the future but uh, for now we're creating these little 30 second observations and uh, love doing it here so let's make this little five second clip into something bigger and let's spread it out on the timeline so we can um, see and work with it a little better here <clears throat> this is final cut pro x on a mac and uh, i just hit the uh, shift z key the shift z key spreads the video out onto the timeline so you can scrub through it uh, and see it better. Uh, so no matter what the, the length of the video is on your timeline, uh, a Shift Z gives you that video uh, filling out the majority of the timeline here. When I turn some of my tools on down here, it covers up uh, the end of the video and I've got to hit Shift Z again and that brings the the video back and it centers the entire video onto the timeline so you can work with it all right now one of the things i look for is the um, camera shake and uh, as i look through this there's not an excessive amount I kind of like the the motion of the camera here as it's trying attempting to follow the action of this beautiful little bee with its beautiful little yellow hind legs <laughs> and uh, well, let's figure out <clears throat> the start of the video here Do, are we starting it where we really want 
it. Let's take a look here. I think I'd like to start it right around right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten our clip up. Uh, we've made it back to 24 seconds. Let's look at the other end. We see our bee. He kind of flies away. And I kind of... Let me just take that and make that a little bit longer. So there's room for the dissolve and fade at the end. All right, so now once again, we're going to customize our time here, our duration to 30 seconds. And let's see what we've got here. Let's click away from that. So we start off with some beautiful little flowers the bee lands right on that beautiful little yellow star in the middle of that flower Let's see what this looks like in real time here So we're at 14% speed here, and this is looking like uh, a good speed. It gives you an opportunity to really observe the flowers and the action of the bees, even the uh, little bee popping up and disappearing at the end there. All right, and uh, I'm going to take and add a dissolve. Let's see if that works at the end here. Alright, so the, the little bee pops up, goes away, and it dissolves to black. Alright, I think we have our 30 second nature video for Nature's Wild Thing.